Hi everyone, this is Mac, VP of Quality, and this is the video preview of Quality Department's key review coming up. I'll go ahead and share my screen and run through the highlights and lowlights. First off, starting with community contributors per month. Uh, so despite the challenges in the current quarter, I'm happy to say that we have increased uh, our monthly community contributors to 100 in October, and this is the highest it's been in the past six months though it's still under our target of 120. Uh, this is due to multiple outreach events. We did two outreach events uh, this past quarter. There is a Hackable Fest and also a Hackathon. Uh, our build out of the contributor success team is top priority and, uh, and, and we'll be looking at uh, product groups, uh, stale community merge requests also as well. Uh, this is our top focus at the moment in, in Q4. Going into MRA, uh, uh, we haven't been focused on contributing organizations. However, uh, I've attached the, a screenshot in the agenda that shows uh, a slight improvement in September and October, in September, uh, if, though it's proven that this is volatile. We expect continued volatility as we focus on uh, the base contributors. We expect more renewed focus in MRA coming into Q1 uh, next year. Going into a master pipeline stability, uh, this has dipped slightly uh, at, at 89%. And this is due to us intentionally removing uh, some retry mechanisms to accurately measure flaky tests. So the, the retries were hiding some of these flaky tests, which we were trying to get to the bottom of. Uh, uh, we expect this to, to improve and the team is continuing, to, continuing on to, to fine tune and optimize our stability. Moving to a uh, re-wrap deployment success rate, uh, the recovery has been increasing uh, and this is now above 90 and we expect more, more momentum in increase, uh, more momentum in recovery. Uh, I wanted to highlight that the dip earlier was due to us expanding testing in re against re wrap So we added more end-to-end -end tests, which runs against all deployed review apps. So overall, this is a net gain in progress for us. Uh, we, we are now running review apps with more tests running against it, in addition to the recovery of momentum of stability. Going on to uh, time to first failure, uh, we're still hovering around the target, though it uh, increased slightly uh, in, in, in the past two months. And this is due to additional testing as well. Uh, we added more end-to-end -end tests within in the uh, overall pipelines. And this caused uh, some, some uh, increase in, in, in um, the time to, time to failure. We will still be looking at optimizing bottleneck jobs and then running the right tests at the right place. Going into S1 OBA, uh, S1 OBA has been decreasing and uh, this 100 days is also a new target. Previously it was 150 days. So we have hit uh, our previous target and also this current target, we are now under 100 days. I also want to highlight that we have been focusing not only on the age, but also the lowering the numbers of uh, open S1 as well. We, uh, we, we have seen uh, great progress here. We will continue to focus on uh, S1 over. Uh, on S2, uh, the age has been increasing. However, I uh, want to point out that the number of issues has been decreasing. And this is because uh, the current focus uh, is on the recently closed S2s. Uh, we're still focusing on S2 OBAs. Uh, we have a weekly refinement going on, which um, we are reviewing uh, newer iterations of the reports and uh, we have changed some mechanisms to highlight uh, all the S2s going forward. So um, we expect to see some improvements here when those mechanisms land. Jumping forward to merge request pipeline duration, we're seeing a sustained momentum of decreased duration. And this is kudos to the team on implementing uh, selective test execution, which shortened the front end pipelines. And then also end-to-end -end test optimization, which also shortened the end-to-end -end test pipeline. We're hoping to hit the target in the future. Moving on to open community MRH, uh, the age has been increasing. Uh, however, the, the open MRs have been stable or reduced. And again, this is due to the hackathons and Hacktoberfest, which added focus to recently uh, open MRs. Hence the age isn't benefiting from the momentum. We are prioritizing 
uh, a breakout analysis of steel and Mars by product groups. And we hope to have that uh, as an update in the next, uh, next review. I wanna take the time to highlight two new uh, measures that we've added for end-to-end -end tests. One is the average duration of end-to-end -end test suits. This measures the efficiency of our end-to-end -end tests. Uh, we're still uh, establishing a baseline, uh, hence the target and uh, target is TBD and health unknown. Same here as well, we have a new measure called uh, average age of quarantined end-to-end -end tests. And this measures how stable the tests are if the tests are flaky, it spends more time and the age of quarantine tests increases. We are establishing a baseline and also a health here as well. Moving on to MR8, uh, we have improved from August. Uh, currently, both September and October has, has been above six, though we're not anticipating an increase going into the holidays. Also happy to report that we have realized some recent improvements in decreasing location factor. And this is due to us hiring in efficient areas for new hires. And lastly, the promotion rate is slightly above target, but not worrisome due to the, the small department uh, population size. Going on to a recap of last quarter's so OKR, I'll be highlighting some wins and also uh, challenges and opportunities. Uh, uh, first off, uh, increasing uh, contributors. We were not able to hit our target of 120, but we were able to increase uh, up to 100 in October. Overall, it hasn't been increasing at the trajectory that we want. Uh, we are doing many experiments in Q4 to identify the most efficient way to increase contributions and contributors. Another challenge here is we were not able to increase in my coaches as much, and this is uh, also due to uh, us or myself being overly ambitious. We did not get the bandwidth to, to improve uh, in my coaches materials. We aim to pick this up again sometime in Q1. On to improve product quality, uh, reducing time to first failure, uh, TIFF, uh, we grade this as a zero because overall it didn't or decrease to our intended target of, of 10 minutes, uh, though the team has been making progress. Some of the challenges inc includes uh, new changes in the pipeline that the team were not aware of that uh, increased the duration. So it didn't net into an overall decrease for the team, though uh, this has been an area of focus. And we are also doing experiments in Q4 to identify more ways to further decrease uh, TIFF down to, uh, down to 12 or to 10. Uh, we delivered uh, full commitments to support Project Core, so that's a, that's a big win. And then onto the growth of team members, a key highlight here is uh, we implemented two uh, job family performance indicators for the SETs, and that was the average age of um, uh, quarantine tests and also the, the duration of our test suite. That wraps up the preview video. We look forward to your questions and to the discussions tomorrow in the key review. Thank you.